Welcome back. It's been a long, long time since we last visited this game. So long, in fact, that I think we should just start again from the beginning. Without further ado, let's play Rockowin. Here's the game controls. We awaken. But what's this? Who's there? Hey. How'd you get in here? Your door's unlocked, man. Oh. Who are you? I'm Yami. I live across the hall. Did you just move in or something? No. I think I got here around the same time as you. They never let me out of my room. Oh. I'm sorry. Eh, it's okay. I sneak out at night when the nurses aren't watching. Heh. <laughs> Promise you won't tell anyone I'm here, okay? I promise. So how long are you in here for? I don't know. Mom says it could be a while. Same here. It gets really boring sometimes. I know what you mean. Someone's coming. Sorry, man. I gotta go. Hey, wait! Yeah. Maybe I could visit you sometime. It's not as boring when there's two. You won't be able to get into my room. I'm not even supposed to leave, remember? Oh, yeah. But don't worry. I'll come visit you again. I promise. Yami? Where'd you go? Alright, so I know I gave a brief introduction at the beginning. This is Rockwin, uh, produced, directed, everything um, by Laura Shigihara and everyone she directed to produce this game. So it's exciting to see a musician, composer, um, and uh, developer, programmer, director, all these things, all uh, done by the same person with tremendous contributions from other folks you'll see in the game's credits. Uh, let's play. All right, so we're in a hospital. We've moved from a bed. This looks, I think, like a bathroom. Is that right? Fill the sink with water. Sure, let's do it. The sink is filled with water. Mirror. Is there a light in here? Oh, there is a light. Imagine that. The mirror's still there. The sink's still filled with water. All right, well, we're not the QA tester. It'd be kind of fun to imagine QA testing the game. Uh, let's see, what's this? A house plant? Sure looks like it could use some water. Huh. wonder what I could do about that. Also, what's this? Oh. Okay, I can pick up that and put it back, I guess. IV bag filled with a saline solution. Open the cabinet. The cabinet's empty. Patient 237. Uh, I'm struggling with the first word here, actually. P-E-M-E-T-R-E-X-E-D. 
Hemetrexed disodium. 800 milligrams, carboplatin 360, carboplatin 376. Patient, no, it's the same information. Some sort of drug or medicine schedule. Oh, treatment guide. Okay. An origami hat. All right. Um, is there something to the side? Door is locked. How do I offer water to the house plant? Or is that... Hmm. How about saline? Can I give saline to the house plant? Hmm. Okay. So I can turn on and off the light. We've got this sink in the water. I remember there was a game To the Moon that featured a toilet, or I'm sorry, no, I'm thinking of Undertale or Delta Rune, where you could interact with the toilet pretty incessantly and do some silly stuff and get yelled at for it. Doesn't seem to be a case here. Um, okay, so if I walk away, I guess that's a phone. If I walk away, it puts itself back on the hook. Or I put the phone back on the hook when I walk away. Cabinet remains empty. Well, I am stumped. That just shows what, it's been like three years or something since I last attempted to play this game? Oh. <laughs> the door is locked. I guess I've interacted with everything in the room. There's a sign on the door. Should we read it? Eh, yeah, why? Why not? Storage area 5B. Patients not allowed beyond this point. Alright. Trying to walk back to answer the phone? <laughs> Wait. No. Wait, what have I done? <laughs> no, this is not possible. No. How can this be? I'm hitting all the arrow keys and the enter key and the space bar. You could try the mouse, but... Oh, okay. Thank you. Somehow I stranded myself and couldn't figure out how to get around the room. The mouse fixed that, but... Uh, okay. Hello, dear. It's Mom. Mom! Just wanted to let you know that my train was delayed, so I'm going to be a bit late. Oh. Okay. I'm so sorry, dear. I'm going as fast as I can. It's okay, Mom. I understand. But I'm off work this week, and I dropped off your little brother at Grandma's. So we'll be able to spend lots of time together. We could play games. I'll read to you. It'll be our own little part. Thanks, Mom. Love you. Love you, too. Well, well. I see you're wide awake and walking around. No one told me I couldn't walk around. <laughs> okay, wise guy. I've got a couple things to tell you. First of all, some good news. Your tests have come back. And it turns out things are looking pretty good. In fact, I think it might be okay for you to walk around the halls a bit today. You mean... I get to leave my room? Indeed. Yes! Not so fast. There's something else I need to talk to you about. This morning, the cafeteria reported that a lot of food and drink was stolen from the kitchen. Since the wing was all locked up last night, we believe the thief might still be in the building somewhere. So you can take a moment to just check and see if any of your belongings were stolen. Uh, okay. Okay, so here... Oh no. It's gone! Doctor, th they took it. They took Rockwin. What did they take? Rockwin! It's my favorite book in the whole world. My mom reads it to me every night. 
It's very special. Are you completely sure you didn't just misplace it? I'm sure. After Mom finishes reading, she always puts it back in the same place. It's our tradition. Okay, calm down. What did your book look like? Hmm. It has a brown cover. Looks very old. And there's a clasp made of silver with a hole for the key. A silver clasp, huh? I guess that explains why they take a children's storybook. Well, I'm really sorry about this. I can only imagine how important it must have been to you. I want you to know that we'll be doing all we can to track down the thief. Mom's gonna be so sad. You know what? What? Since you're allowed to leave your room today, why don't you go talk to some of the other folks around the floor? Who knows? Maybe someone will be able to help you get your book back. Take care now. I'll be back to check on you in a bit. Hmm. Quite the story, that. Every story has a good tension. Um, but yeah, also, uh, it's an interesting play of words. I won't dwell on it too much. Who's this? What the heck do you think you're doing in my room, kid? Get out! Figures, when I want visitors, no one shows up. When I need peace and quiet, every idiot in the world has to come to my room. Where's that nurse with my coffee? Thought you said you didn't want anyone. Well, alright, fine. Bug you later. Door is locked. Keep out. Only authorized personnel allowed beyond this point. Hmm. What else? Hey there. What's up? I don't think we formally met. I'm Cora. It's probably pretty easy to remember me, because I'm the only girl in my grade with a pink mohawk. Oh, that's cool. Don't worry, my mom knows. She's the one who let me do it. Anyway, it was nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too, Cora. Oh, some friends and I are working together to do something special for the people on our floor here in the hospital. Like what? I'll have more details later. If you find anything cool you want to donate, come talk to me. Alright. I know a lot of folks feel powerless when they have to stay here. But here's the way I see it. No one knows how much time they have left in this world. My time could be up in 80 years. Or 8 minutes. Point is, I'm going to do everything I can to make good use of my time. Time's precious, you know. If I could help just one person here to feel happier, it'd all be worth it. Hey there. You hear about the thief? Dude, yeah. Chief Parky Panky came out here, and he was not happy. I guess the thief took a lot of food from the cafeteria kitchen. How the heck did he get into the kitchen anyway? can't even get there from the cafeteria. Believe me, I've tried. Hey, tell me about somebody else. Uh, yeah, tell me about Tony. Is that the guy we were just talking to? Just between you and me, I think Tony's hiding something. He acts so grumpy all the time, but when he's got this pretty little music box in his room that he guards with his life. Why would a grumpy old dude like that have a sweet little music box? Alright. Oh, you're not going to tell us about Nevermind? Just kidding. Hello, small child. What brings you to my blood draw station? Interested in learning about the circulatory system? Platelets? Perpetual motion machines? Hmm. What can I help you with? Did you hear about the thief? 
Come here, I'll let you in on a little secret. Have you noticed anything strange about this hospital? Hmm, not really. A while back, I started noticing cryptic little messages written all over the place. And last night I saw someone go into that closet south of Tony's room, but I was told that closet had been locked since before I started working here. Pretty sure they were not staff. What did they look like? I only saw them out of the corner of my eye, but only for a second, so unfortunately I could not say. Sometimes I like to contemplate things like, why are there only two egg-laying mammals in the world? I'm sure many species could benefit from laying eggs. <laughs> Quite the contrast between Jackie and Cora here. Where Cora wants to spend all of her time as efficiently as possible, and Jackie seems a bit more carefree. <laughs> but so far, only the platypus and echidna, I think the spider families, have hopped on that bad wagon. Why, if I could lay eggs, I'd be laying egg all the time. Yeah, boy's got a point here. Uh, yeah, no. I, well, I guess we could ask about Tony, couldn't we? I guess not. Uh, Cora mentioned Panky. I guess Panky's somebody in the cafeteria? The children love Chef Panky. If he notices someone having a bad day, he'll give them ice cream. Ah, ice cream. Using the scientific secret of salt to lower the freezing point of the ice in order to freeze the cream. Genius. Wait, is that how that works? Scientific secret of salt to lower the freezing point in order to freeze the cream. Hmm. Weird. Not sure I follow. Does anybody know anything about ice cream? I've made it before, but I don't know how it works. Did you call me? Yeah. Apparently, toilet in Sue's room's broken now. Can you do anything about it? I'm a nurse, not a plumber. I don't know how to fix the toilet. Well, someone's got to do it. You know we're short-staffed. Fine, I'll go see if I can dig up some supplies. What's this? chair, but I can't interact with the chair. <laughs> Hospital scale. Same scale. Oh. Alright. Shift leader. Are you a player char or character I can interact with? Guess not. <laughs> oh, my stomach's growling. I wouldn't give for a peanut choo-choo. Yep. Every NPC has character. Or so it seems. Oh, who are you? Now, where did I put that key? I must have dropped it somewhere. What's this? Semi-functional vending machine. What would we like to buy? Well, peanut choo-choos? Sure. Please deposit 10G. Oh. Okay. How's the detective work coming along? Find me good leads? And a pair of scrubs hanging inside. Can we wear the scrubs? A lab coat and a pair of scrubs are hanging inside. Something beneath the lab coat? What's it? We found 5G. Alright, so we stole 5G from a locker. An eye chart on the lower corner, lower left corner of the eye chart, you can make out some writing. Sure. M A Slash, slash, or M-A-I-I? Hmm. Who would write that? Well, I guess my character can move in increments around the map, but can't exactly line up with each chair here. Alright, what's this cart? Nothing in the cart? Anything on the scale? Anything on whatever this is? I guess this... what's that? Is that silverware? I've got a locker here. 
door is rusted shut. You can't open it. Right. New patient lounge is still being built. Please come back later. Wait. What kind of place is this if there are new patient lounges? Well, I guess it's a lounge. Uh, they still have new patient acceptance somewhere, but... Hey there! Long time no see, buddy. You hungry? Need something? What's up? Do you hear? They finally stocked the vending machine in the hospital wall with peanut choo-choos. Shift leader when here the other day was begging us to do it. Guess it's not just kids who like him, eh? You're about the thief? Oh yeah, someone came in here and took a bunch of food and drinks. Ain't no way they got here through the cafeteria. See that metal door up there? Comes down after hours and no one gets through that. So I bet they somehow got into the backspace. The backspace? Yeah, it's a network of closed off passageways. Half built rooms, storage closets, you know? The aftermath of, well, yeah. It's crazy back there. Need something? Who do you know about? Okay, I don't think I've heard about these folks. Did we hear about Jackie? Jackie's a smart guy. Sometimes I think he's on another planet, but there's one thing you could talk about, it's food. Oh yeah, that was, it was the guy we were talking to earlier. Names, so we had Cora and Jackie. This is Panky. Of course. We have different methods. Yeah, he's all science. He cooks with his brain. But also he's kind of <laughs> scatterminded sometimes, it seems, or just impulsive. I cook with my heart. What do you want to know about? Tell us about Nevermind. Several kinds of box lunches. Rice bowls and snacks. Various drinks, yogurt, and fruit cups. Ice cream, frozen snacks. Man, they've got plenty of food here. Magazines, notebooks, and other paper materials can be found here. Oh, who's this person on this side? Sorry, hon. You know you're not supposed to leave this wing. Oh, uh, I'd hope for more conversation. Cert. Credit or debit card now. Surcharges may apply. Wait, is this an animal? I told you, you're not supposed to have cats up in the hospital. It's fine. She's a seeing eye cat. My vision is really bad. Get out of here, Daniel. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Hanky's the worst. Seeing eye cat? I'm not familiar with this, actually. Plushy toys in a pile. Hey, kiddo. Need something? I'm just finishing up a batch of plushies. My goal is to, uh, to make one for all the patients on the floor. Even cranky old men like Tony and Panky. Wait, Panky's cranky? It rhymes, but... Eh, I heard that. Good! You're about the thief? Don't tell anyone I told you this. Do you know how some of the doors around here have those electronic lockbox things on them? I heard that they keep the passwords somewhere behind the reception desk that's across from Kusabiro's room. You mean you haven't been there? No, no, of course not. I'm just a volunteer. I missed a line of dialogue in there because um, I thought it was the same as something we had read earlier. What do you think is behind those doors? You haven't been there? No, I'm just a volunteer. Alright, tell us about Tony. I know Tony seems like the biggest rump on the planet, but I can tell he's just a bit lonely. I bet you if you brought him some coffee, he'd be open up to you a bit. Right. But I don't seem to have a way to get coffee. I'm not sure that I want to know, Tony. Do I? Not sure I'm able to anyway. 
Um, so, okay, is there anything... How about in this plant over here? Is there anything... I can't interact with the plant. Uh, can't interact with that plant, so I guess we're going back out. Yeah. I like the atmosphere here. I mean... Hot coffee, restocking soon. Restocked as soon as the shipment arrives. Maybe the shift leader's holding all the coffee hostage. Imagine that. Dash is free. But yeah, I like... I don't know. Maybe you haven't been to a hospital before. Maybe you've not spent a... Maybe you've not spent an extended amount of time visiting a hospital. Either charitably or on the other side of it. Um, but no... Yeah, the theme here and the music really work well together. And give you this impression that, yeah, they're doing their best amid difficult circumstances. There's important challenges to work through. And it's for some people, they're just uh, stopping by, spending some time there, and they'll be heading out. For others, the situation's more dire. So, like, yeah, there's this melancholy atmosphere, but at the same time, you always have to remain hopeful that things will go well. Let's read the flyer. Tell Cape Heroes, a group of fun-loving volunteers and patients working together to make the hospital a better place for everyone. Patient survey. Uh, I guess we'll try to go into Dash's room. Oh, never mind. Maybe it's sealed off and I don't know. Um, oh, I forgot to read the little sign outside. What's this say? Kisaburo, sort of. Alright. I suppose... You're Kisaburo? Wait. Is that smoke? Is somebody smoking in a hospital? I haven't seen you in a long time. It's good to see you walking around again. You need something? seems these days it's getting harder and harder to find the words. Either that, or people just aren't listening. But you know, if it's my time to leave this world, then I'm ready to go. I just want to make sure the things I need to say, I've said before it's too late. I've been telling the nurses for a long time that someone's been sneaking around here after hours. I heard they were stealing food from the cafeteria kitchen. Which means they obviously have some way of getting into parts of the hospital that we patients don't have access to. What? Were they crawling through the vents? You'd have to be pretty small to fit through there. But no one around here listens to me anyway. They all seem to think that I've lost my mind. I'll show them I'll go take all the food! No, just kidding. Um... You need something? Yeah, tell us about... Oh, never mind. I appreciate that. Like, yeah, a character, an NPC actually telling you, yeah, I'll talk with you about all these other things, but gossip's not one of the things I do. That's, like, that's a really... That's a character who has character. But they've also got an IV bag. I can... Well, okay. I'm not a medical expert, but seeing somebody with an IV bag and a cigarette or some kind of smoking, it's just kind of new to me. A stack of notes been stapled together and attached to the inside of a folder. Based on the results of Kisaburo's brain scan, we believe the metastases, metastases to be the cause for his delirium. It's my recommendation to begin administering antipsychotic medication. Please refer to a list of hallucinogens and delusions, or hallucinations and delusions. Thermometer. Oh, let's start to read page two. 
1021 was found clad in ladder in construction zone 5B. When questioned, replied that he intended to make a hole in the ceiling. 1028 was found in the yard, digging in the mud, completely unresponsive when questioned. It appears to be unaware of location and time. 11-2, carrying bags. Patient 262, blood samples. Let's see. It appears it's a tunnel routing through here has been... Uh, there is a tunnel running through here that has been blocked off. Perhaps you could get through if you have the right tools. Attention all hospital staff instructions. Kisabura is not allowed to leave caffeinated liquids before a prep, or have caffeinated liquids before prep. Someone has etched something into the edge of the bulletin board. Read it? Sure. Oh. Wait. Why M111? I've already forgotten the first message. I thought it was AM11 or something. YM111 or something. I wonder what it all means. Doors locked. Let's see, what's this? I can't interact with the plant. Guess whose room is this? Gemma and Sue's room. Or Gemma and Sue. I don't know how you say that. The toilet there is broken. Some metal thing stuck inside. We have to go. We should probably find a different bathroom. What do you mean? Hey! What are you doing? I, um... It's a girl's room, you know? If you really gotta use the bathroom, come talk to me. Oh. <laughs> the RPG's telling me what to do. Bye. So you wanna use our bathroom, eh? Well... I guess? Yeah, I get it. We all gotta go sometimes. But I can't just let anyone use our bathroom. It's a girl's room, you know? Gosh. Looks like you really gotta go, though. Hmm... Well, how about this? See that jar next to me? Oh. Yeah? That's my marble collection. I'm missing some of them. I was carrying a bunch of them around in my pocket, and I'm pretty sure some fell out. If you could find me just one, I'd let you use our bathroom whenever you want. Do you think you could do that for me? No, I need to use the uh, I mean, yes. I'll do my best. Thank you. The last place I was playing with Danielle was in the cafeteria. So you might want to check her out there. Alright, what's this? House plant that looks like it could use some water. Wow. Do they not care for the house plants? Patient 138. And, uh, how do you say this? Anoxic brain injury, stage 1 coma. Respiratory therapy session 1121. Thermometer. Vision 138. Blood samples. How are you doing today? My wife's been asleep for months now. But I still talk through every day, and sometimes I read to her. How are you doing today? Have you noticed that some of the doors around here have electronic passcode devices? I've been told that those areas have long been closed off, even to staff. But recently, I noticed that one of the devices has been turned on. Okay, can you tell me about? Uh, tell me about Sue. On occasion, I've had to take Sue back to her room. She has the habit of walking around aimlessly on certain nights. Um, oops. Uh, tell me about Cora. I heard that Cora's and her friends have been, or Cora and her friends have been working on a special project to boost morale around the hospital. Last I heard, they were calling themselves the Towel Cape Heroes. 
And then Tony? I believe Tony hasn't talked with his family in a long while. It makes me sad to think that families can be torn apart just because people don't see eye to eye on something. Too bad fixing toilets wasn't on the curriculum at nursing school. <laughs> wow. Enforcing the rules. Like a boss. Alright. Fine. I'll hold it in. You just wait. Or I could use any other bathroom. Wow, you're so strict, Sue. Alright, but fine. Well, I ask Danielle, like, where the marble might be. She might be able to clue me in. Alright, volunteer Danielle. Yeah, where's the marbles? Um, Sue didn't used to be so poor. But I heard her father drank a bit too much and gambled away all their savings. Oh, I know all the people here. Alright. Yeah, I think we've talked about Tony already. Winston. Have you noticed? Winston's wife doesn't have her wedding band on. Oh. Don't you think that's a little strange? Yes? I mean, Winston's still wearing his. Oh, I know all the people. What could that mean? That's super weird. Alright, I guess I'm looking around for a, any of these marbles. What's in this box? They're playing by the cafeteria with some marbles. Well, I'm not seeing a marble anywhere. Do I need to just, like, mash this button as I'm walking around, or...? Have you seen a marble? Or you were saying near the cafeteria, but not in the cafeteria? Alright, I guess we'll check outside the cafeteria. Oh, yeah, let's look under the plushie toys. We found a snowy marble. Alright, now let's go bother Sue. I don't know, is there a run button? A run button in a hospital wouldn't make a whole ton of sense, anyway. Um, yeah. That's okay. Alright, this is... Wow, so many different colored marbles. Yeah, I've been collecting for a long time. Okay, there's not a secondary dialogue tree. Any luck? Nope. <laughs> I mean, yes, sure. Alright. You give the snowy marble to Sue. Ah! You found my snow world. Snow world? Shh. Can you keep a secret? Yes. These aren't just that marbles, you know. They're little worlds. All of them are tiny planets. The tiny people living inside. That's why it's so important for me to find them all. Swirly white marble is a snow world. It's snowing all the time there. I know that might sound boring, but it's not. Real snowmen live there. And they're always having parties. Kinds of parties. Snowman dance parties. Oh, I love dancing. Me too. Oh. They have pretty lanterns everywhere too. And a blue campfire that feels cold. In fairness, if you stick your hand into a campfire, you'll feel something. <laughs> you might feel hot for a second and probably feel cold the next, but I wouldn't recommend it. But if we went there, we wouldn't freeze. Snowmen make a magical drink that can keep a person warm. So we could dance with them and never get too cold. That sounds great. Thanks for helping me. I feel better now that we're... I feel better now that they're back with me. My name's Sue. 
It's nice to meet another kid around here. Oh yeah. Now feel free to use our bathroom anytime you want. If you find any more of my marbles, do you think you could bring them back to me? Of course. Thanks so much. Probably my voice seems all over the place. But the story get, comes across, and that's the important part. It appears that there's a tunnel running through here that's been blocked off. Well, if we had the right tools, we could maybe break in. It's got a sink here. We can fill the sink with water. And it's filled with water. Looks like the toilet's stuck. Whoosh! Alright, what happened? This looks like something shiny floating inside. Sure, let's take it. We're kid. Key to Tony's bathroom. Alright, well... Wait, you fixed the toilet? Thanks, kid. Alright. Yeah. Imagine that, a kid actually fixing a thing instead of breaking it. What are the odds? What's this? What's any of this? Can I interact with any of this? Or is this just decorative for now? Can you tell me anything about it? Hello, small child. What brings you to the blood straw, blood draw station? Um, let's see. Oh yeah, so, yeah, tell me about Danielle. She's the purple-haired girl that hangs out in the cafeteria. She sews the most marvelous plushies for the patients here. Kisaburo? I knew Kisaburo back before his mind started going. We spoke often. It's sad to see someone's mental condition deteriorate like that. What do you mean? Well, for example, Recently, the staff found him outside. Oh, we talked about this, didn't we? Uh, he was on his hands and knees, making piles of mud, using spoons he got from the kitchen. Oh. Uh, but hey, maybe he knows something we don't. Maybe he was looking for buried treasure. Who'd you like to tell know about? I think uh, Jackie's got the right idea. <laughs> You know, it's not right to judge someone until you know them more closely. Alright, sup, Tony? You got the key to your bathroom. Yeah, yeah, I know. The shift leader is in charge of coffee, not me. We're breaking into your bathroom. What's this? 5C power supply. Paper notice is attached to the box, and there's a lever in front. <laughs> okay. 5C power supply is on. Should I read the note before I pull like, the switch? Alright, let's read the notice. Do not tamper with this device. Oh. Okay. Cool. <laughs> let's fill the sink with water. The sink's also filled with water. Is there anything... Okay, there's the toilet to flip up and down. I see. Well, we tampered with the device. Hopefully that's okay. You still want your coffee. We'll make the call. A book about airplanes. I don't remember that. There's no point in talking to Tony before he's had his coffee. He'll just growl at you like a big angry bear. I heard that, you little brat. See what I mean? Okay, what's in the cabinet? Oh, 5G. Hey, guess what? We got 5G, and we got 5G. That makes 10G. You know what we can do with 10G? Um, we need the peanut choo-choos. I'm impressed that the vending machine's actually semi-functional, as opposed to completely out of order. But you were saying you wanted these, right? What do you want to do? Wait, you're giving this to me? Wow! Thanks. 
Haven't eaten anything all day. I guess they won't mind if I go take a short break. Alright. Wow. All I have to do is bribe the guy to get complete access to everybody's medical records and stuff. An assortment of books and pamphlets line the shelves. Newspaper clipping sticking out from two of the books. Yeah, let's read it. 19 March. JNR. Already strapped for resources. Hospitals are unable to accommodate new patients. Um. Several years worth of medical journals. Medical forms. A laminated card is taped, clipped to the back of one of the folders. Sure, let's read it. Closet 5C passcode. 1721. Patient survey. Inpatient survey. Outpatient survey. Alright, can I access anything else back here? Or is it just that one number they and that story, story that they wanted us to know? Hospital admittance forms A through F. Hmm. Alright, so I'm a bit turned about. We gave Sue the marble. We haven't gotten the coffee. The shift leader is going to restock the coffee when the restock is available. It's good to walk around now and then. Walking's great for your circulation. Um, hot coffee restocking soon. Uh, okay, this locker door is rusted shut. Find a pair of scrubs hanging inside. So, I am very confused what the next thing to progress the story might be. Be nice to your mom. She works really hard, you know. If you say so. Boy's room. Oh, I guess I am boy. Uh, okay. Push the call button. Yeah! Hello? Can I help you? Is the cafeteria open? I should be serving breakfast now. Alright. Wait, we can summon the nurse? Sure. It means she's not there already. Well, she should be there soon to take your vitals. You know the drill, huh? Ah, <laughs> nice. <sighs> House plant that looks like it could use some water. Patient 237. Oh, that's right. Treatment guide. An origami hat. The door is locked. There's a sign on the door. Let's read it. Storage area 5B. Patients not allowed beyond this point. Okay, we already read this. Cabinet's empty. Hmm. Doors locked. Only authorized personnel. The doorknob. There's an electronic device with a passcode entry labeled Closet 5C. All right. Hopefully this is not a bad idea. Oops. Access denied. Um, let's see. Uh, 1721, was it? Oh. Oh, what's that? Attention all hospital staff. Urgent. Please begin transfer medical supplies to the second floor storage wing immediately. Someone has etched something into the edge of the bulletin board. Let's read it. O R S Y R I I. 
It appears there's a tunnel running through here that's been blocked off. If we had the right tools, we could get through. Alright. Uh, let's search the shelf. Books and pamphlets. Newspaper clippings sticking out between books. 14 March. The NSA said the number of people exposed to radiation was expected to rise. Workers in protective clothing scanned people arriving at evacuation centers for radioactive exposure. Uh, medical journals. Medical forms. Something beneath the folders. We found a small a key for the small cabinet. I'm not sure where the small cabinet is located. Oh, we used the key. Uh, there's a laminated card lying at the bottom of the door. Yeah, let's read it. Exit 5C passcode 2954. There is an electronic device with a passcode entry. 5C. I see. Alright. Um, let's do it. Whoa. Dang. What the heck? Jar with an unknown specimen floating inside. And a representative from Coid Construction is coming tomorrow to survey the damage. Make sure all personal materials are removed before then. Wait, the music stopped, and we have a, a clock ticking. Office supplies. Something shiny between pens and pencils. Found 5G. Medical books. Another plant that could probably use water, if I had to guess. Oh. Wait. Sokoban? Oh, no. Oh, no. Sokoban. Uh oh. <laughs> uh... Okay, so I can hit the button to push. Um... How do I not box myself in? Gotta like the puns, eh? Uh, if I push up and right, and up and right, and up and right, yeah, this should work, right? Not claiming to be any mastermind at this Sokoban stuff, um, but we'll give it our best. I play Chip's Challenge, and my goodness, Sokoban is my nightmare, so... Alright. Is this where I'm supposed to go? Um, pull the lever. Sure. Oh. Okay. Surprised I can reach everything. Okay. Let's open the locker. A lab coat and a pair of scrubs are hanging inside. Looks like there's something inside the lab coat pocket. Let's look inside. You found metal door key. Pamphlets and office supplies. Wait, I can't step on the chair or around it, so... More pamphlets and office supplies. Nothing distinctive. What's this big yellow... diamond? Construction zone ahead. Please do not enter without explicit permission from your supervisor. Yeah, let's do it! We're a rebel! Oh my goodness. Our pursuit... <laughs> it seems to be we're pursuing this. Insert card key. You don't have a card key. Why'd you ask me if I was gonna... Okay, anyway. What's this? I mean, this is a construction zone, so... Holder 1. 
construction contract for the rebuilding of the third floor, wing 2B. A card key. Someone left a note. Sure, let's read it. Joji, remember to remove the card key when you're done this time, okay? We can't just go leaving doors open. I don't want to get in trouble again. We found 5G. Alright. Um, is there anything over here? What's this? Is this some kind of bed or platform or something? I don't know. Here's what some of this is supposed to be. It appears there's a ton- oh, that's what that is. If we have the right tools we could maybe get through. Let's try this store. Got a locker. Let's open the locker. Lanyard with a card key hangs from the inside. Sure, let's take it. Well, there sure are a lot of card keys just floating around. Bills and tax forms. More bills and tax forms. Alright. Oh, we can remove a card key. Now, it's true, I think I've played this game before. I forget exactly how far I got. But somehow I seem to recall that you could remove the card keys. I just don't know whether that was my own playthrough or me. Oh, there's a third card key? This I don't remember. Yeah, I'm like half remembering some of this at this point. But this playthrough I do aim to get further than I got last time. It would be wonderful to complete this game. Or to at least, I don't know, meet a lot more characters than we've met so far. Um, wait, can I... Oh! Huh, I don't remember that. Uh, doors locked. Notice it's posted here. All three card keys must be inserted to open this door. Uh, okay. That's interesting. At some point, I think I might have watched uh, the game producer, Laura Shiyara, play parts of this game. And then I realized I didn't want to be spoiled on all of it. So I decided that I was going to uh, stop watching that playthrough until I've done my own. Question mark. My book! Uh oh. It's a little late for visitors, don't you think? Who are you? Oh, I'm no one important. But if you want to call me something, you can call me Uma. Are you the one who's been stealing food from the cafeteria? Did you take our book? Blech. I guess you kind of caught me red-handed. Why would you steal from a hospital? I'm hungry. Down on my luck. What do you want me to say, kid? Wait. Do you live here? For now. Not much of a home, but it beats sleeping on the streets, eh? Oh. I'm sorry you don't have a real home. Eh, you get used to it after a while. So, kid, you hungry? I've got a bit of fish head left from last week, if you'd like. Uh, that's okay. But thank you. Look, kid, I'm really sorry I took your book. Please, take it back and forgive me for my lapse in judgment. It's okay. I do weird things when I'm hungry, too. You received Rockwind. I promise that as soon as I get back on my feet, I'll pay the chef back for all the food I took. I just need some time to figure things out. I understand. Boy is quite understanding here. 
Oh. One more thing. If I tell you a secret about this hospital, you promise not to tell the staff that I'm here. Okay, I promise. Break me... Break me and I'll multiply, becoming sharp as a tack. But if all you do is smile at me, I'll always smile back. What in the world are you doing in here? I... Um... Well, I don't know how you got in here. This area is off limits. Anyway, come with me. Your mom's here. Dude, you told me to go around the first floor of the hospital and try to talk with people. Didn't you tell me that? Could have been a bit clearer on the direction there. But okay, fine. Ah! Huh. After you worked so hard to get our book back, I think you deserve a good bedtime story. Wow. Wow, you, you made this big trek by train? You're telling me it's bedtime already? Will you read Rockwind to me, Mom? Of course I will. Once upon a time, there lived a boy in a faraway land called Morisota's Forest. Even though he was still quite young, the boy was considered a great warrior by his tribe. Hmm. One day, the boy returned home from a hunt to find that everyone in his tribe had disappeared. At first, oh. the boy was very afraid, but he soon learned that his tribe had escaped danger by sailing to a world called Rakuen. In order to reach them, the boy decided to seek help from the great guardian of the forest, Morisora. For it has been said that Morisoto would grant one wish to anyone who was able to complete his challenges. Thus, the boy set off on a great journey. He fought evil spirits, visited many lands, that and befriended even the most severe of creatures. Huh. And at long last, Morisoto granted the boy his wish, a ride on his magical boat. The boy was now able to sail away finally reuniting with his tribe and all those he loved in the beautiful world wow. of Rockwood. What a journey. Good night. Wow. That's quite a story. That's an amazing story. One that seems a bit mythological. But yeah, the artwork is beautiful, music is lovely as always, and the voice acting is also great. Huh? Is that you? Hey! Yummy! Came back! I told you I would! So, the doctor told me you were wandering around the backspace. Oh, is that what they call that closet area? It's like a construction zone right now, man. Seems awfully dangerous to go there just for a book. It's not just a book. It's been our family for generations. My grandmother used to read it to my mom when she was a kid. Ah, so you got it back for your mom? Yeah, and me too. It's special to both of us. Special to the homeless guy too. Silver on the side probably sells for a lot. He was hungry. He's probably just trying to make you feel sorry for him so you wouldn't tell on him. You should feel... He should have felt sorry for you. You're the one stuck in the hospital. He could leave any time, but you? You might never forget to leave.
Oh, hey man, I'm sorry for saying that. It's okay. It's true. If it makes you feel better. I'm stuck here too. We could be stuck here together. You're right. Thanks, Yami. That's the night shift per nurse. Sorry, man. I should go. Yami. Yep. Yeah. I hope you get better. sweetie. Did you sleep okay? Oh. What's the matter? I wish I could go to Morizora and ask him to grant me a wish, but I know it's not real. I'm just stuck here forever, aren't I? Now, I wasn't going to tell you this until you were older, but... But I think you might finally be grown up enough to know the truth about this book. The truth? Do you know why someone tried to steal our book? Because there's silver on it, and people can sell silver for money. No, no, that's not why at all. This book is not just an ordinary book. It's a map to Morizora's forest. A blueprint for what we need to do to meet Morizora himself. But when the thief took our book, he obviously didn't realize that you need something else in order to get there. This is the Rakuen key. You need it to open the book as well as the doors. Doors? My grandmother told me that when you have both the book and the key, secret doors will start peering around you. Doors that lead from this world to Morizora's forest. There could be doors in this hospital? I don't know. We may never know, unless we look ourselves. I want you to have this key. It's very special, and now it belongs to you. You received the Silver Rockwin Book Key. Thank you, Mom. But you must promise me you'll take good care of it. Now I promise I'll take such good care of it. Okay then, there's only thing one left to do. One thing left to do. Let's go find a door to Morizora's Forest. Talk with mom at any time. Press Q. So you can press the Q key on the keyboard. Hello, dear. How are you? When I was a little girl, I always used to dream about finding a special door to Morizora's forest. Oh, I see, and that's a way you can ask for hints if you get stuck. Wow. It's been quite an adventure, roaming around the hospital, getting a chance to meet everyone, getting in a little bit of trouble. But we're a boy. We're supposed to get in at least a little bit of trouble, I would assume. It wouldn't be much of a story if we didn't have some tension. Um, but yeah, I hope that the homeless guy um, gets on his feet soon, is able to get things back together. I hope that the other folks who are suffering for various ailments, however trivial or otherwise, uh, can get through those too. I suppose we'll try to wrap it up here and continue again soon. Thank you for watching. <laughs>